squirrels are eating my nuts. You won't believe it. It's crazy. Let's go check out what they have done. Those little rascals. And the project I need to get, do get done quick because they are getting into stuff that they shouldn't be. I had this bag here full of nuts just over here because um, I, I wanted to keep them kind of cold but I wasn't quite ready to start processing them all because it didn't look like they were sprouting but now I do see that some are sprouting and then I saw I saw a squirrel a very very plump little happy squirrel running away with a nut and then I pulled out a bag and look what I found yes siri it chewed a hole and it found some nuts. So what I'm gonna do now, I have to expedite a task I wasn't gonna do yet. Um, I was gonna put it off a little bit longer, maybe a week or two, at least for the ones that aren't sprouting. But I need to pull out the ones that are, wash them off, because they're a little bit moldy, which is fine, and I need to get them planted. I have a really cool hack for you. I think you're gonna enjoy it but you gotta watch for a second. So first things first, I'm going to take out some of these um, little sprout sprouted seedlings. I'm gonna put them in a plastic bag after I wash them, but I'm gonna turn those bags into a greenhouse and you've gotta see what I do. It is very silly. So these are Tanzawa chestnuts and I can see there's a root right here. So that one needs to come out. And these are moldy. I'm going to rinse off some of them. They're not all moldy. But I see some of these here growing. And these should be the acorns, which are from a beautiful tree. It's from an Oregon white oak that is growing locally, apparently. And it's like, apparently, I think there's a story to go with it. It was like the tree that came with the pioneers that established this area of Washington. So... I'm gonna get those out and I'm gonna to have to rebag them because this is not gonna hold. It's gonna, all these little seeds are gonna fall out. Um, or all these big seeds are gonna fall out. And I have to wash these really good with cold water, not hot water. You don't wanna kill your plants. Um, but look at these. Look at all those roots here. And this one here, that is a basalta chestnut. A lot of the basaltas are, are sprouting. I got these seeds from Burnt Ridge and please note they have been sitting in the trunk of my car since i got them i'm going to link the video of when i got the, the seeds so you can see the, the time that's gone by but they've been sitting cold cold stratifying in my trunk i did that on purpose because i didn't want squirrels to get to them and i knew it was cold enough look at that there's roots there roots i'm going to start start with the basalta um so i have a bag I'm going to write the name on this and I went ahead and wrote on this what they are and I use just a regular pen, not a sharpie, not because I don't prefer it because I couldn't find one, um, but because it has the, the little label here, it writes on just fine. Now let's go get some, um, some medium to plant these in. I'm going to use the cocoa cord that I wa put water on and it swelled up by now so it'll have plenty of that for this for this project I'm gonna quickly bring these inside and rinse them off and I'll be right back well the cocoa core swelled up a little more than I wanted it to so I rolled this down a few times just so it doesn't like grab a lot when I'm putting it in and then it will fall down on top of the plants after I've got them all planted this is gonna be a greenhouse Wow I've got a lot so I'm just going to take some and put it in the bottom of the bag so I think I'm just gonna plant two in this bag and be really gentle the roots should go down and the other one the roots are kind of crazy so go like that it's easier to plant them if they're not already sprouting that's why I have to be super gentle now okay looks good okay and I'm going to give them a little bit of water. This is moist, but not very moist. I just had to yell at a squirrel. It was literally trying to come over and eat the nuts again. It's like really 
eager and it's like it's even it's like a uh attractive nuisance right i'm here and it's still going after them because it's too much too wonderful it's trying to get to them before i can actually pretty rough because the squirrels keep coming over and trying to steal more nuts but i'm gonna try to demonstrate this for you it's crazy okay You have to have the hole here. I'm not putting very much water, just a little bit, because it is a little bit moist already. And the water will not be lost from this baggie because of the special technique I'm using. I've never seen anyone else do it. A special once in a lifetime, I'm just kidding. <laughs> once in a lifetime hack I'm gonna be sharing with you momentarily. Okay. So this is that basalta chestnut that looks beautiful. It's sprouting splendidly. Okay. Now I'm going to act like I'm going to zip it up, but hold on. Okay. So I pushed it closed, but I left a tiny little hole right here tiny tiny little hole okay let me show you what that's for see that hole here I am going to put my mouth over it and blow it up like a balloon okay I'm gonna act like this is a balloon and I'm gonna blow this up so here you can see I blew it up it's like it's taut so when it grow when the plants grow they will have their own little greenhouse go ahead and do some more of these but I'm not gonna film it all because I don't want to bore you but the same process I'm gonna back up some of this cocoa core, water it, plant a couple, two per bag, um, top it with the cocoa core, water it, zip it mostly closed, blow it up like a balloon, seal it all the way closed, and then I'll see you back here. Those are four little greenhouses. Those are four little greenhouses, and here is the fifth one of the basalta chestnut seedlings. You can actually do that same hack with smaller bags, and they actually work better um, for smaller plants because the lip on that bag is not um, the same on both sides. So it's a little bit finicky, but it's easy. Just like blowing up a balloon and you have your little greenhouse bag. So that's gonna work for those 10 trees. I separated the um, Oregon white oak into the ones that have already sprouted. So they do range from anything like this. You know, there's different various stages to some that have just barely cracked the shell. And I need to rinse these off because I don't want the mold and fungus and stuff to get into the plant itself. If you can time it right, it's best that you rinse them off with cold water before they start sprouting, but you do what you're gonna do, right? This is, this, this is what nature happens in nature. So these are gonna get rinsed off and planted. These are gonna get rinsed off and save for another day so these are probably mostly going to sprout too and i have no reason to think that they wouldn't but there are also there's several in here that are really moldy that i need to rinse there's no way i have enough plastic bags for all of the white oak so i just wanted to demonstrate how you can plant them plant the plants like this is kind of taut so this is like a little greenhouse in a bag and as long as you have it sealed all the way you know how many punctures it does hold really good if you have the smaller bags, you can actually stack them on top of each other when you're sprouting, like, if you're going to sprout, like, um, peppers and, and um, tomatoes, you can have one little baggie with the mo peat moss or cocoa corn in the bottom moist, plant your little seed, um, almost seal it up, blow it up like a balloon, seal it up, and I put, like, um, I put it, like, on top of another container, so if I have a container that's on a heat mat, I can put that little baggie that doesn't barely weigh anything on top of that. And then the heat transfer, the heat rises and it acts like it's still like a warming mat. Um, and it's a great way to maximize your space too. And they're very light. And then you have your whole little plantlet going on and you can um, up pot those very easily. You just flip the outside edges inside out and now you have a pot. Then you can cut little edges on the bottom if you need them to drain. Super, super simple. So I very gently stack these in here. I'm going to rinse them off and I'm going to plant these. Let's do it.
Rinse them off really good. I've got a large tray to fill up with uh, cocoa core. There's no point in washing it out and make it pretty for YouTube when it's just gonna be getting dirty again. So I'm just gonna fill this up. So if they're clean enough, I'm just going to make sure that the butt, the little tail goes down. And I'm gonna over, over plant this because I just don't have time today. This is over 50 trees in here. That's way too close, but this is just what I call buying me some time. So I'm gonna cover this up and put it somewhere safe where the squirrels can't get to it and call it a night. So hope you enjoyed this, saving the nuts from the squirrels. Don't forget, good be good, be sweet. And if you want, grow a garden if you wanna eat. See you next time, bye.